We see many reports of hospitals here in the United States being overwhelmed with coronavirus patients. CNN's Brian Todd has been looking into the challenges facing uh, people fighting the virus at home right now. Brian, it presents some really unique problems. It presents some unique and daunting problems. Wolf, you know, many people fighting the virus at home are doing that alone. And if they lose that battle, there's a chance that no one will know. Can I like pretty much say? Leonardo Frazier shows CNN the simple looking device that made all the difference for him. You scrap it on your wrists here. It's a finger monitor measuring Frazier's oxygen, heart, and blood. The 54-year-old wore it at home alone while he was battling coronavirus. It was connected to his cell phone, and when his condition took a sudden nosedive, it let his doctors in northeastern Ohio know. It told me I needed to be in the E. I needed to come down to the ER uh, immediately. And so that's what I did. Frazier says he felt so incapacitated at home alone that he doesn't know if he'd have had the wherewithal to get himself to the hospital. And this right here has saved my life, and that's why I'm here today. But Frazier's is a rare case. He happened to be placed in a pilot program at university hospitals in Ohio, designed to help save the lives of patients who are fighting coronavirus from home, where experts say a victim's condition can plummet in an instant. It's unpredictable. And so some patients will go home and they'll stay well, their lungs will get improved, others may deteriorate. Uh, we don't know who will. And often they deteriorate and die at home with no one knowing. Officials in the hardest hit areas say they're struggling tonight to count those who are isolated with the virus at home. 